Good morning everyone, it's me again Clem from Clem Prep Vlog. Today is Easter Saturday and me and my family decided to go for a road trip. Today we are going to visit this small town, a historical gold mine town known as Castamain. And we arrived at uh, the mill of Castamain and we're going to have a bit of tour in this compound. And uh, let's have a look. We started our trip at the mill Castamain. This mill was starting as the Castamain Wooler Mill in 1875 and finishing as Victoria Carpets in 2013. Then it transformed into a place for food and artistic manufacturing. Morning. Good morning. Our first stop at the meal was to have breakfast in this famous local cafe known as Das Cafe House, an Austrian cafe opened in 2015 which brings the art of Austrian style coffee roasting and food run by the Shell family who has been leading name in European coffee industry for decades. Copy? Yeah, copy. So after having brunch in this uh, cafe, we are full now and we will start to walk around in this area, the mill, and to check out all the shops. After our breakfast at Das Cafe House, we went straight into Long Pedro Cheese Shop just next to the cafe. It is a small scale artisan, organic house meal range of cheese produced in the cheese making facilities pasted in the mill. Blue cheese. Blue cheese. Firstly, we try the grenade, the cheddar cheese. We also try the fennel flour, the brie cheese. Yummy. And this is something special for us, the sundew, the soft mm. camembert style cheese. Mm. Mm. We never tried this before, but we love it. I think it goes well with a glass of chardonnay. Oh. And lastly, we try my favorite cheese, blue cheese. Mm. Also known mm. as blue stone in this shop. So we quite enjoy the cheese and it suits our palate for tonight, wine and cheese night. Okay. Opened in 2019, the Cabo C and Fee Chocolate is an award-winning chocolate shop that produces high quality of chocolate. They use cocas from Solomon Island, Ghana and Peru. After visiting Long Pedro Cheese and Caposi and Five Chocolate, these two fantastic shops, we are very excited to visit our third spot, Kestermai Awkward Small Goods. Opened in 2018 by a German butcher, Ralph Fink, who has more than four decades of experience. 
He is the only one of the six Flaschmeister in Australia, an award known as the Meat Master in German, who recognized as master who learn and practice the traditional methods of curing and preserving meat. Just next door to the butcher is a local winery shop started in 2015. This place, it is not only a winery cellar door, it is also a good place with small kitchen included to attract wine and food lovers. Just like a little social club in this small town. This Boomtown winery and cellar door makes Boomtown a minions label. Have their grapes harvested in local and nearby farms, they produce some fantastic wine. We enjoy the moment of wine tasting and the fantastic hospitality by the sommelier of the cellar door. We really like some of the wine after the tasting. So we decided to buy six bottles of wines which suit our palate. Chardonnay, Shiraz, Fiano, Sangiovese. Main Vintage Bazaar is our next spot in the meal. It is a marketplace of multiple storeholders offering a diverse and electric edit of vintage magnificent. It is a creative hub for foodies, artisans, and purveyors of collectibles and curiosities. Of course, I will miss out the chances to visit one of the local art galleries. So we uh, visited some places and now we are going to head to uh, the next location known as Buddha Historical Garden and House. Let's go now! So we're currently at this Buddha Historical Home and Gardens. It's just one minute of driving away from the mill of Castamain. So we're going to have a look at this heritage building. So how old is this house though? Uh, in the 1860s. Mm. Mm. Just during the gold rush, yeah, through the gold rush, yeah. 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 It was uh, um, a jeweller from Budapest, yeah. Hungary, and mm. he also spent time in London and then he came over here. Right, mm. that's yeah. why it makes sense this name, this house named Buddha. That's it? Yeah, mm. it makes sense now. According to the lovely lady, this heritage listed house, Buddha, was built by a retired Baptist missionary, Reverend James Smith in 1862. The house was named as Delhi Villa when it was first built. Ernest Levini, a Hungarian-born silversmith and jeweller who arrived in Australia in 1853 during the Victorian Gold Rush, purchased the house in 1863 after James Smith decided to return with his family to India for missionary work. He renamed the house into Buddha during the 1890s after Budapest, the capital city of Hungary. 
Anyway, let me tell you some brief history of this town that we were visiting, Castamain. Located in the Goldfields region of Victoria around 120 kilometers northwest of Melbourne, it began as a gold rush boom town in 1851 together with Bendigo and Ballarat. The name Castamain was named by the Chief Goldfield Commissioner, Captain William Wright, in 1854. In honour of his Irish uncle, William Hancock, who also known as Viscount Castamine. If you do pay attention, there's a road in Melbourne known as Mount Alexander Road begin at Parkville towards Northwest, run through Mooney Pond and Essendon. This route was the original route for the gold diggers to travel between Melbourne and Castamine during the gold rush era. Alright, so we spent less than one hour touring in this historical heritage house Buddha is a very interesting place, very nice, uh, a lot of historical information you can read through. So we are heading to our next destination near the town centre. Let's go now. So this is the monument, the Buck and Wheels monument in uh, Castamine. They built to commemorate the Victoria Exploring Expedition, Robert O'Hana Brook and William Wills. They actually planned to start from Royal Park in Parkville of Melbourne and then towards Capitaria in a northern part of Australia. Eventually they did make it because they have some uh, disagreement. They run out of food, water and then they die in around the area of Cooper's Creek of South Australia if I'm not mistaken. All right, so it's raining. We can't really do much uh, exploring. That was our last stop for our, this tour. So we spent roughly half a day. There should be more things to be visited, but we, I didn't choose them because some reason, like walking in the bushes, because of the weather, we can't do anything. So at the moment, our plan will be get back to Melbourne. That's mean that it will be the end of this episode. I will see you on my next adventure. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. For watching don't forget to click the like subscribe my channel and share it to everyone leave a comment if you have any feedback for me